what is going on ben nation so the market just experienced a little hiccup here uh we've had some downward pressure for a couple of days now we had a nice little spike uh, in price action over the weekend has not maintained U.S. markets continue to underperform for cryptocurrency. Uh, so now we have to look at, you know, what is it that we're looking at? Well, I'm going to show you on the charts what everything looks like. We're going to try to wrap this up pretty quickly in a little bow for you guys so that you know exactly what's going on in the market. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. So the inflation rate year over year just came in. Uh, the forecast was 3.4. The actual was 3.5. Core inflation forecast was 3.7. It was actually 3.8. Now, when you look at these two, uh, you see this was a little bit hotter than it was the month before, uh, but also in line in core inflation with the previous performance. We expected it to come down. It's not coming down. Also, core inflation rate month over month. Uh, that's the third one down towards the bottom here, uh, was forecast at 0.3, came in at 0.4. Previous month was also 0.4. So what does that all mean? Well, it means that inflation is continuing to stick, and a lot of speculative asset relies on people like us um, being able to invest money into cryptocurrency, and that's become a struggle uh, because the market is not bearing out what we wanted to see which was two percent inflation so if that is the case then can we even expect rate cuts to come there was just a prediction of 50 percent basis points through the summer uh, and then another uh, i want to say 150 points through the end of the year which seems really aggressive to me but that's the the numbers that we're getting now it looks like there's just absolutely no way that that can happen because if they reduce the interest rate then people are going to continue to borrow money even more than they are now, businesses especially, and they're going to continue to just raise prices and they're going to price you out of the market. And uh, that's capitalism at work for you. I mean, that's really what's happening, right? So uh, here we are. Now, how does that affect Ben Price? And the answer to that is, well, not very well. Last bunch of hours, we've had this downward sort of momentum with the broader market. Um, you know, we would like to see, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. Um, ben right now is up one and a half percent in the last 24 hours. Myro down 7%, Bitcoin down 2%, Ethereum down 2%, Solana down almost 5%. Uh, the broader markets are just kind of um, feeling that pain, if you will. And uh, everything else is just starting to really kind of uh, wind down. And look, Bitcoin is still a steal at $60,000. So there could be some downward pressure that continues here into this broader market. But uh, how is that going to affect Ben? Well, remember, I gave you my prediction, which was that we're going to see this big move uh, back into this range. But instead, we're still finding that, you know, it looks like we found the bottom, right? <clears throat> but we said that before, and then we got that very strong bounce. So now the question is, are we finding that strong bounce at this next level, which, you know, this kind of represents that support region. And if that's the case, it's still a big bounce towards that upside. Now, uh, you know, the question then becomes, does this play out you know, this way? It's a little bit broader. It's a little bit wider uh, because it hasn't completed its moves yet, right? So uh, this could be that we're just getting ourselves set up for that next bounce. At this point, we're still in bullish momentum because uh, the important part to that is always, you know, which direction it's going and which direction is it going? It's going upwards like that. So uh, you're seeing that upward momentum continue, and that's a bullish concept for this project. So that begs the question, what about staking? Well, staking is going to be here in a couple of days. Remember, it was the 6th that it was announced it would take about one more week, and we're on the 10th right now. Now, will, be, will it be uh, exactly seven days? Maybe, maybe not. I, you know, this is it's, it's going to be within that range. That's the expectation. Uh, once that's there, then some of that sell pressure will start to to wane. When that sell pressure starts to wane, what does that look like? Well, you know, most probably we're looking at this normal point of control right here. It'll be easier to just pop back into this little range right here, which is a little bit over 6,000. Now, once that uh, range is achieved, then we'll zoom out just a little bit and look at what is our range in in the one hour or in the longer term. Uh, same kind of range. You know, this, is, this appears to be that that kind of spot. Uh, so uh, once we pop over that and we create this new 
uh, sort of paradigm on that way up with lower opportunity for people selling off, then we're, we'll just be in a better position and we'll have stronger bounces each time. Um, and, uh, you know, we should be fine. The question is always, how fine will we be? And look, it's Ben Armstrong. It's a long journey through cryptocurrency. It's, we're not even in the bull market yet. We're in the, you know, we're in the accumulation phase. The bull market kicks off, you know, 30 days after the halving. So what's really on the table here? And what's really on the table right now? It's like, we just want to get into a good position so that investors like you and me feel a little bit better about our bag. That's all. That's that's all that's going on right now. Uh, could we get a nice little, you know, two, three, four, five X? Sure. But what we really want to see right now is we want to see uh, the foundation being built here. Once that foundation is in place, then we start the real accumulation for Ben Coin. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content. And then we will talk to you again very, very soon.